Hi everyone. Programming a part in any computer-aided manufacturing software can often be a disconnected process between what the toolpath looks like on screen to what really happens when running it on a live machine tool. This difference often means that considerations like machine limits, controller options, and special functions are less likely to be considered when creating toolpaths in CAM software. This often results in programmers and operators adjusting programs on the fly and can cost valuable time and money. Having the ability to simulate toolpaths on a digital twin of your machine aims to address this by allowing a user to gain a more accurate representation of how the program part is likely to perform when running it on a live machine tool. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the machine simulation by using the built-in Fusion 360 library. Specifying a machine can be done by either creating a new setup or editing an existing one. In this example, I have already pre-programmed a set of toolpaths for this part and want to get a good idea of the machine movements prior to running it on a physical machine. Right-clicking on the setup and clicking Edit will expose the setup dialog. From the machine section within the setup tab, we can choose the select button, which will open the machine library dialog. This dialog contains a list of machines which have been utilized in various documents and locations throughout Fusion 360, as well as contains a list of pre-configured machines within an online Fusion 360 library. Clicking the drop-down link exposes the list of simulation-ready files. It's worth noting that this Fusion 360 library contains pre-configured machines and may not match the exact kinematics of the machine you have. Where a more accurate simulation is required, you will need to modify an existing machine or create a new machine to get a more accurate representation. Remember that even though the post-processor uses the kinematics defined here to give a more accurate simulation result, it's always important to make sure your NC output code is correct before running it on any machine. In this instance, the machine I want to use is a Hass machine with a bolt-on trunnion. It's located within the Hass directory. Note here that an accompanying view cube icon denotes that a machine file is simulation ready. Simulation ready machines have fully defined solid model kinematics alongside a linked machine simulation ready post processor. Once in the Hass folder, clicking the machine simulation filter will display all the simulation ready machines available. You can also view the full list by choosing the top level Fusion 360 library. Clicking on the machine file and clicking the select button will begin downloading the machine, allowing the machine file to be saved to a location of your choice. In this instance, I'm downloading it locally into the project folder. Once downloaded, the machine is automatically selected and the part positioning tab will now become available. Clicking the part positioning tab defines the location of the part attachment alongside where that part attachment connects to the table. Further offsets can be applied to fine tune the location required. Now that we have imported the machine and positioned the part, it's time to simulate. Machine simulation is available when simulating from both setup level as well as from the individual toolpath. Right clicking on my setup and selecting simulate, we can now begin to see the simulation motions on the machine. I can also see however some collisions denoted by red markings in the timeline. This appears to be because the tool I've selected is too short. I can use the new change tool functionality to quickly update the tool to a longer tool without needing to recalculate the toolpath. I'll now simulate the toolpath to make sure I'm happy with how the toolpaths are being simulated. To build your own simulation ready machine, click on the link in the description below to watch the video on how to use the machine builder. Lastly, if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button and hit that like button. From me, cheers.